tomorrow, VRV Bridge. Good morning. Okay, Coy, ready launch? Let's do it. Okay, deck ready? Ready. Bring her up. Roger. Bridge off deck, no, it's ROV off deck. Copy that, we'll get it in the water. We used to think that the deep sea would be like a desert, that we wouldn't find much life here. After all, we are so deep underwater that there is no light from the sun. There is no photosynthesis. Until you go down and explore, you just don't know. It's completely translucent. Oh, and it inked. Yeah, that definitely looks like a squid. Ooh, and an interesting one at that. Hold on, that. Wow, he comes out. Yeah, get this from as many angles as possible. That would be awesome. It's not every day you find a 500 meter tall reef in the Great Barrier Reef. For us, it's been a real privilege to mountain climb this newly discovered reef and find that there's quite a, a thriving coral sponge community at the top. Technological advancements in robotics, software and data storage provide new opportunities for us to comprehensively understand ocean systems. With every expedition and every dive, we learn more, understand more, and make deeper connections with life on Earth. As we began exploring the depths of the ocean, we learned that there is plenty of life, animal life. All kinds of challenges living in an environment like this, yet life proliferates. The deeper we go, the weirder it gets. And we're just admiring the view, really. <laughs> I think art has a really important role in creating awareness and advocating for the environment in a way that it excites people. The program Artists at Sea gives an opportunity for a selected artist to work with scientists on board cruises across the world. Something that I have learned whilst on board Falco from the scientists is that the seafloor is the largest habitat on Earth and it's also the least understood. So I, I love the idea of sort of trying to capture and distill some of that in my work. A lot of people seem to view the deep sea as sort of out of sight, out of mind, but the, the deep ocean affects everything else on the planet. Because of course in the ocean nothing happens in isolation. Everything is connected both horizontally and vertically. 
So now having this extra layer of knowledge is going to be incredibly useful for any future management. There's been a wave of scientists and schools that decided that engaging with the artists brings a new perspective. So it's just like having another set of eyes with a different lens. And it doesn't necessarily change the data they have, but what it does potentially do is just ask different questions, both from the artist side and the scientist side. I always find it amazing to think that no human eyes have actually looked at this piece of seafloor before. So you are seeing it uh, at the same moments that we are, and it's, I think it's really special. So there's a saying that life begets life, and it's certainly true in this case. We've zoomed in on the sea cucumber to see that it's covered in what we thought were tiny hairs, which have turned out to be hydroids. <laughs> How like, can that be energetically it, efficient? <laughs> it looks like something Dr. Seuss would draw. <laughs> hey, whoa, hang hey. on. <laughs> Throw the parachute out. <laughs> Where's it going to land? It is. Or oh, maybe like that is the parachute. <laughs> By communicating the beauty and majesty of these systems, their importance to the natural world, we're making people fall in love with the ocean. It's it's fascinating that. So many people from different disciplines can come together. I think research is collaborative, so it's all these intersecting ideas. Uh, it is a way of people coming together to make sense of the world we live in. And if you're really trying to understand an element or a subject, you would try to look at it from various points of view. And that is what I'm doing right now. So I can actually understand them to a greater degree and use them within my artwork in order to make more profound statements. Being aboard the RV Focal, this certainly influenced what I'm producing as an artist. Everything in the world that's alive is basically forms a tapestry that ultimately holds us. And I think it's important to think about that because every time you lose something, you lose a thread out of the tapestry that ultimately supports us humans. Oh, for my art, what I'd really like is to change at least one person's mind and that I can get them to understand a little bit more about their position within the greater scheme of how we're all impacting on the ocean.